back, man, a rock, man, is this who stills the raging sea? He heals the sick, the lame, the hurt, and makes the blind to see. He opens all the prison doors and sets the captives free. Behold, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is he? He is the Lord of glory. He is the great I am. The Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. His name is wonderful. The Prince of Peace is he. He is the everlasting. Behold, what manner of man is this who speak for the woman and the well? Everlasting life I will to thee, for this you can count and tell. And whosoever shall drink of the well shall live eternally. Behold, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is he? Amen! Hallelujah! of glory He is the great I am The Alpha and Omega The beginning and the end My name is wonderful The Prince of Peace you see He is the everlasting Father throughout eternity Behold, what manner of man is this who speaks to the lame and heart? He says, Thy sin be given thee, take up thy bed and walk. He stands as thy healer now, and Christ come unto me. Behold, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is he? Lord of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. His name is wonderful. The Prince of Peace is he. The everlasting Father throughout the day. Behold, what manner of man is this who stands with God and man? His eyes are as a flame of fire, his palm is in his hand. And so him, yes, as the sun in the brilliant sea. Behold, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is he? He's the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And Omega, the beginning and the end. His name is wonderful. The Prince of Peace is he. He is the everlasting Father throughout eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you happy this morning? Hallelujah! Can you give your best clap to the Lord? Hallelujah! 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 Amen! Can we sing uh, one more song uh, for you alone? Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I will. 
Father, for the privilege again to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh Father. So we, as we humbly bow down ourselves, O oh Father, as we humbly uh, asking for forgiveness, O oh Father, for the things that is not good in your sight, O oh Father, forgive us so that we may worship you uh, in spirit and in truth. Made us worthy today, O oh Father. Sanctify our hearts. Sanctify our minds, O oh Father. May our, may our hearts ready to receive your word this morning, O oh Father. Lord, 
our words are not enough, Lord of oh Father. And say how much we love you. And, and say Amen. how much thankful we are for the things that we have done in our lives, oh Father. Lord, once again, pour your Holy Spirit Amen. in our midst. Meet our expectation, oh Father. Fill our cups one more time, oh Father. Lord, uh, we pray also that the brethren that will come here, Lord, keep them safe as they arrive here in the church, oh Father. Lord, uh, speak in us today, oh Father. You are you are pastor, oh Father, to lead us, oh Father. May your may may the word that will come in this pulpit, Lord be our strength Lord we need you Father to give the Holy Spirit in us Lord so may we become the manifested word of Father the bride in us this is the last day of Father Lord as you offer this service unto you Father we offer all the minister, ministry that is doing service unto you Father we give our hearts of Father we give our soul two hands one life one spirit one soul father we give to you all father as being grateful sons and daughter of your father lord as we give thanks and honor may god we give back to you all the praises and glory in the precious name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen amen, amen. hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah thank you jesus can we sing uh, one more song uh, you are my all in all hallelujah Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy this morning? Hallelujah. Can you give your best clap to the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Before I call uh, our uh, song leader, can we sing uh, one more song? Uh, Come and teach me. Hallelujah. God is uh, our teacher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 
Thank you for your presence, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Can you give a best clap your hands to the Lord? Hallelujah. Did you feel the presence of God? Amen. Amen. You must be in the presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Once again, I was so really blessed. All the songs that we had sung, amen. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this uh, privilege once again that we are here in the house of God. Amen. Praise God, amen. amen. God bless you, saints. <clears throat> Greetings, saints, of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and all to our brethren who are watching us in the live stream. God bless you, God bless you, and more bless you, amen. Be with us as we worship our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible said, we sing a new song. I was so uh, blessed when uh, inspired this song, when uh, this is our very own song, but composed by our brother, Brother Alvin, that God, uh, he gives uh, a wisdom. Amen. And uh, we, we sing this as with gladness in your heart. Amen. Amen. And all the message is, came from this pulpit. It came from God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sing that song. You are the only one. Because He's the only one. Amen. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> Glory. Sing it, God. You have done great things, made my life for thee, the word you put in my heart. It's more than life to me, like the air that I breathe, the treasures that this world can see. You are the only one I want You are the only one I need To walk in your perfect image It's my heart's desire Your word is the greatest gift I've got You gave me the faith to overcome I'm so amazed in your mysterious ways strength when I'm weak, my victory in every battle, you are the rest of my soul, comfort in times of trouble, did you see that, and the source of my life, provider of all my peace, hallelujah, you are the only one I want You are the only one I need To walk in your perfect image Glory! It's my heart desire Your word is the greatest gift I've got You gave me the faith to overcome I'm so amazed in your mysterious We are in this world, but not of this world. We worship you in spirit and in truth. You are the only one I want. You are the only one I need 
to walk in your perfect image. It's my heart desire. Your word is the greatest gift I've got. You gave me the faith to overcome. I'm so amazed. Your mysterious way. I'm so amazed in your mysterious way. I'm so amazed. In your mysterious way, I'm so amazed. In your mysterious way, rapturing faith has been given. Glory! Yes, in this time of rapturing rain. Hallelujah! In the twinkling of an eye, this body will be changed. We will meet him in the air. That's the promise. Believe on that. What a glorious day we're living in. When our church gathered. To have that supernatural strength. That's true. All the world, the completion. We are the completion. Amen. Praise God. Rapturing faith has been given. Amen. Time of rapturing grace in the twinkling of a night, this body will be changed. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day! Recognize this time we're living in. The revealed word is manifested in the bright today. Hear the voice of your mind, for we have the mind of Christ, and hope to the end for the grace is given. As rapturing faith has been given. In this time of rapturing grace, in a twinkling of an eye, this body will be changed. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day! We are in the day of squeezing time. It has to happen. Then Satan forces try to deceive the chosen few. The revelation in harmony, the rapture message our symphony. We shall comfort another with it. This is false sense. There is swallowed up in victory. Satan is defeated and death is destroyed. The body chains will declare the victory. Glory! Rapture and faith has been given. Amen! In this time of rapture and grace. Twinkling of an eye, this body will be changed. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day! One more time, rapturing faith. Rapturing faith has been given. Glory! In this time of rapturing grace. Twinkling of an eye, this body will be changed. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day! 
glorious day. We will meet him there. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day. Hallelujah. We will meet him in the air. What a glorious day. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need that supernatural strength to have our body changed. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, Saint. God bless you, Brother Henry. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Are you happy this morning? Amen. Let's all be seated. And uh, we will read our uh, answered prayer last uh, Tuesday for our prayer meeting in uh, John 4, 13 and 14. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Recovery of Brother Basil from his kidney issue. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Healing of Brother uh, Plong Augustine from Goiter. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Healing of Brother Dante Magana from COVID-19. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Approval of documents for Sister Lani Pelias going to Canada. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's all our uh, answered prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answered prayer. Now we will go to our uh, birthday celebrant. Hallelujah. Our uh, birthday greetings. In uh, third John 1 and 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou May yes, prosper and be in health, even as they soul prospereth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Amos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Brother Amos. He's not here today. God is so good. Hallelujah. God bless. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Newly baptized. Hallelujah. Newly baptized. Amen. Hallelujah. In Mark 16, 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth that not shall be damned. Hallelujah. Amen. Our uh, brother John, our uh, Amen. God bless, brother John. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we will go to our uh, prayer for the birthday celebrant. I will call brother Restor to lead us a uh, our prayer for our uh, birthday celebrant. Brother, uh, brother Amos. <laughs> Praise God, Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, Lord, we pray for our brother, Brother Amos, even though he is not present in our midst today. We know that his heart is together with us, worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We pray, Lord, that you give more strength and the body and healthy and more jobs, Lord. And more uh, a progress in, in life, Lord, uh, provided to our brother, Brother Amos, uh, for, who, for as long as he may live, uh, he, may, uh, he may be in line with your word. And uh, together with us, we, 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 hallelujah, we, and we, Praise God. Uh, binabati po namin ang aming kapatid ng happy birthday. And uh, may God uh, prosper, you, prosper you with many more birthdays to come. Uh, that's all our prayer. Uh, God bless you, Brother, Brother Amos. To God be the glory. Amen, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we will go to our uh, 
testimony and a song offering to the Lord. He's the one who is blessed this last few days. Can you raise your hands? He will give us a testimony or a song offering to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank to the Lord for the for the healing touch that He gave me for the past two weeks. He tests my faith, but we are victorious. Hallelujah. Amen. We are the we are the bride of God. He will not leave us. That's why I'm here again. He lifted me from the bondage of sickness. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I'm already healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, is, who is the next one to give us a testimony? Uh, Sister uh, Mary. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to give a short testimony as well. Um, my... My mother, sister Neng, already shared the story last Tuesday, and I want to to share my own experience Amen. during the process of my papers from the hospital and to the uh, Ministry of Interior. Um, initially, the um, the HR department on Al Ali Hospital promised that. Um, they're going to give me a visa, but the Ministry of Interior Interior um, said that there's a new protocol that they are no long they pause the giving of visa and they're no longer giving um, visas for the private company. Our next option is to be transferred my visa under my father's sponsorship, Amen. but the problem is we have locking documents to to be passed on the ministry of interior um, the locking documents are the um, oh, what is that apostille from the department of foreign Affair, affairs in the philippines the problem is um my birth certificate is incorrect meaning the gender the gender is male and supposedly female we have a problem with that and Amen. then um, the dfa um, no longer allows us to to be to authenticate my papers because um, we have to correct it first and um, we lay everything to god before we 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 pray that all of all of the papers would be um, accepted before we go to Ministry of Interior because anything beyond the beyond inside the Ministry of Interior is out of our control and it's all in the hands of God and Amen. last Friday last last two weeks God God answered our prayer and uh, um, the MOI I received my QID from MOI. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I want to offer also uh, this Amen. song, Point of No Return. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When I think of all the Lord has done for me, fully prevailed so I could walk in victory. Since I've touched the cross and felt the pain he bore, forsaking all my life before, to whom to go with him all the way never to return again to yesterday Amen. Hallelujah. i can turn back on him Amen. i've turned away from sin i'll walk with him every day 
there's just no other way while bridges behind me burn pressing ahead will be my yearn i've reached the point of no return amen hallelujah having put my hand to the plow i won't look back nothing behind could ever match what i have now the savior now that i've come i've come to know he's everything i need to grow to whom shall we go don't ever want to part cause it's true that jesus has his won my heart Amen. i can't turn back on him i've turned away from sin i'll walk with him every day there's just no other way while bridges behind me burn pressing ahead will be my yearn i've reached the point of no return for rich or for poor in sickness and in hell for better, for worse, Lord, I give you all myself to have and to hold, to cherish in my heart. I vow even death can never part. I can turn back on him. I've turned away from sin. I'll walk with Him every day. There's just no other way. While bridges behind me burn, pressing ahead will be my yearn. I've reached the point of no return. To glory, glory all to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Mary. So, who is next? Who is uh, blessed? Uh, Brother Chris. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, uh, friend, friends. Uh, good morning to our Lord God, Jesus Amen. Christ. Uh, well, uh, we are listening to the song of uh, Sister, Sister Mary. Mary suddenly. A while ago, the, the alarm of Sister Jonah alarm, alarming in her Amen. cell phone. And she was there. Do you know that uh, it's your 12 years since you have baptized? <laughs> huh? What's the date today? October 9. Oh. I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, pass this moment. Amen. Without uh, giving, uh, giving uh, praise and uh, thank him for all uh, for all above, uh, he made me he made me new, renew. Amen. A new bride, Chris, in your uh, in your front, a true warriors of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I cannot uh, I cannot uh, uh, pronounce it one by one. Uh, what battle I have been through but Amen. I'm still here Amen. standing Hallelujah. and uh, having uh, the gladness in my heart Amen. always serving and make him uh, first above all things Amen. our Lord Hallelujah. God is in serving him Amen. whatever the circumstances that we are facing always uh, always look unto Jesus Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. at this moment we would like to offer our song with, uh, together for us with the family <laughs> Amen. In uh, Pampanga, Brother Buddy, Sister Jorna, Sister Josie, Brother Amen. Owen, come. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, uh, we want Lord. to offer Hallelujah. a song, the blesser of all blessings. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God be the glory. Bless brother Chris. Bless brother and sister. Hallelujah. So anybody else? Oh, brother Dennis. Brother Restor. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom church. Amen. Once again, we are so thankful to the Lord God Almighty for his protection for a short time. Sister Miriam and Sarah being here Amen. and be a blessed to increase the family as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all. We thank the Lord for our Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, we thank our pastor, the head of the house. He said, where two or three are gathered, there should be a head. Right. So we thank him for being faithful to us, thinking of us daily, ask what we need, what, we, what is our problem. He said, God richly bless him. This is the family that we are. There's no place like home. Amen. And it is only Amen. home. That Amen. that's where our gladness is. This. There's nowhere you can get our joy apart from here. Amen. We leave all behind. Hallelujah. And this is our greatest home. Amen. And surely, we say we are so grateful. Amen. What even what we did for us, Hallelujah. even our biological fa families, Hallelujah. none can do it for us. Amen. And know this is our, our Christian dome. It's a God richly bless you all, our entire churches members, from the treasurer to all the entire congregation. It's a God richly bless you. Uh, they will be living for just a short vacation, but they are still in our presence. We ask for our prayers. Be with us as they go and go to the short vacation, and they will be back soon. Amen. We keep them in prayers so that they will not stay. They will return back to the, to the house of the Lord. Amen. The joy and the gladness. Amen. We say God richly bless you all. We thank you for your love and kindness showing to us in goods, in everything. We cannot mention names. We say God richly bless you. We thank you all, and we give you all glory to the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless, Brother Dennis, Sister Sarah. So, Brother Nestor, the next. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm very thankful this morning. Uh, I'm very grateful to, to God uh, for giving my request, prayer request, an answer. Really, if you are willing to to let God answer your prayer, Amen. just be faithful 
Amen. Do not give up. So I never surrender, and uh, but I, I admit that I I am always sometimes getting lazy, Amen. you know, uh, for uh, sleeping during the service. Hallelujah. Every Tuesday. Amen. And uh, it make me sad. But uh, when I come back. And God, uh, uh, let me uh, let me remember that I am your God. I give you strength, Amen. and uh, because of me, you will have faith. Hallelujah. So I, in the in the last two Tuesday that I come to, to continue to pray for my daughter's application and papers, God answered my prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. He just simply uh, let me go back in every Tuesday gathering of the saints. Amen. So remember, Hallelujah. brethren, that we have every Tuesday gathering of the saints to pray for our loved ones. Amen. So because of that, I want to offer a, a song to our Lord. Uh, Lord, you are my all in all. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, yung aking pong uh, son, uh, daughter-in-law, si Sister Lani, uh, ay lilipad na po papuntang Canada. Amen. The next day. The next day or two. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Napakabuti po ng ating mahal na Panginoon. See, uh, God really answered Amen. our prayer. Just be faithful. God Amen. So you are my all in all, Lord. Amen. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasures that I seek. Amen. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to keep up, I'll be a fool. You are my all in all. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame. Rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. Amen. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all. Oh, Jesus, love of God, worthy is your name. Oh, Jesus, love of God, worthy is your name. God be the glory. As I also be in thankful for God healing our brother, Brother Irwin. Brother Irwin, right now, I know you are watching. I love you, brother. Also me, Hallelujah. the brethren, all of us praying for you. Amen. We know that God already healed you. Amen. And Brother Hallelujah. Dodong also, and our precious brethren that are watching in the live streaming. Amen. We love you. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, and also, also, before I forgot, I also, we also pray for our sister, Sister Anna. Amen. Sister Anna, I know the feeling of our brother, Amen. Our Brother Mark, the, the husband, is crying in his heart. Also, Sister Mateo. Anna, I know you're watching also, you are already healed. And Brother Matthew, Amen. Brother Matthew also is having a dry cough, and uh, you are already healed, Brother Matthew. Amen. We love you all to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's all uh, stand up. Then we will uh, give us our uh, love offering to the Lord. The doors of heaven are open. The blessings are falling today. 
Offering prayer, can I call a brother Chris to lead us our uh, offering prayer? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord God, thank you for this day, Lord God. Thank you for our heart's desire, Lord God. Lord God, you know our hearts, Lord God. Lord God, please, Lord God, take our, receive our offering, Lord God. The offering that comes in our heart, Lord God, thank you for your, you're a good provider always, Lord God, thank you for everything you have given. This, uh, this offering is not enough, Lord God, but you know that it will fool all the, all the, uh, because of the, your blessing, Lord God, thank you for everything, Lord God, this we ask you, in Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we call our uh, pastor, we can uh, we will sing uh, one more song, uh, the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is greater power than pang or pain can ever tell. It goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest end. The guilty pair bow down with care. God gave his son to me. His erring child, he reconciled and pardoned. Dani? Oh, love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong. Time shall pass away, and where the thrones and kingdoms fall, when men who refuse to pray on rocks and hills and mountains call. 
God's love so sure shall steal in dew all measureless and strong redeeming grace to Adam's race the saints and angels song Saints and angels song Could we with ink The ocean feel And where the skies All parchment made Where every stone On earth a queen and every man as cry by trade to write the love of God above we drain the ocean dry nor could the scroll contain the whole from sky to sky O love of God Hallelujah, Amen How measureless and strong Saints and angels song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Father, for your love. Thanks, Father, once again for bringing us here, back in this church, oh Lord, uh, bonding us in your perfect love. Thank you for the protection. Thank you, oh Father, for all the answered prayers that we have heard. Thank you for the songs that we heard that uh, we have that our brethren had offered, oh Father. This uh, brought uh, blessings to us, to our souls, bringing, oh Father, the, the atmosphere that you want us to be in, to be in your presence as always, oh Lord. Thank you, oh Father, for being with us always, as always, as we in us, you in us, oh Father, we in you, oh Lord, that uh, uh, the only comfort that we have is to always be in you. Thank you, oh Father, this uh, morning for another great day, another great service that we have. Thank you, O oh Father, for the zealousness that you have placed in our hearts. Thank you for the burning fire, O oh Lord, that uh, always lights up, O oh Father, and reminds us uh, to always be rejoicing, O oh Lord, in your word. Uh, as uh, we wait for your return, O oh Lord, uh, we know, O oh Father, that uh, everything is in accordance to your will. We pray, O oh Father, all those who are sick uh, this morning, all those who are uh, in the bed of sickness, O oh Father, we pray for Sister Hannah. We pray for Brother Mateo. We pray for Brother Irwin, O oh Father. Remember Brother Dodong today, O oh Father. And all the rest of the brethren, O oh Father, who are listening in the live stream. All our families who are sick, O oh Father. Remember them, uh, O oh Father. Uh, thus you are the Lord of uh, uh, the great healer, our great physician today. And we always believe, O oh Father, that uh, healing is always there. Amen. And we're claiming it this morning once again, O oh Father. As we receive the healing uh, for all our bread and this morning, we offer uh, everything unto you. And uh, we give you all the honor and thanks as we claim it in your most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you happy this morning? Amen. Amen. Let's all be seated for a while. Uh, last uh, week, uh, we have uh, 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 renewed uh, uh, the terms uh, of the, uh, our deacons and our trustees, but uh, 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 Brother uh, Mark Anthony Ompad was not there last time. 
So this morning, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, we will be uh, 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 praying for him, uh, for his uh, renewal of his uh, term, and uh, for his oath this morning to the Lord. And uh, it's not just Brother Mac who, whom we're going to call this morning, because last week uh, the church, the brethren has also agreed uh, to uh, put up another position for our song leaders, because the song leading uh, position is uh, it's only Brother Bong who we have today. And I know that uh, uh, there's no objection in the heart of our brother. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, well, we thank uh, Brother uh, Mac for the last year that uh, uh, he, he gave his, uh, his service to the Lord being the, uh, one of the, the, uh, the trustees of the church. And uh, this morning, can I call Brother Mark in front okay. as uh, uh, he is uh, renewing his, uh, his uh, service to the Lord and he wants to be part of the ministry once again. And uh, may I call on as well Brother Joel this morning. Yeah. As, uh, <laughs> yeah. as, uh, as our uh, song leader, and I know that uh, uh, Brother Joel is not only gifted by singing, <laughs> and uh, he's uh, uh, also being used by the Lord to preach the gospel. And uh, let's uh, pray for the ministries of our, of our <clears throat> brethren this morning. Uh, for the election, it's just an election for uh, the position of uh, the, uh, the trustee. Uh, for Brother Joel is already confirmed for him to be there. So uh, let us uh, may I invite everybody to bow down our heads once again uh, this morning. And, uh, and now with our heads bowed, uh, not only our heads, but our hearts. And as every member of this church that comes here regularly and supports it with their tithes and offerings, uh, who are considered as the member of the church, I would like to ask if this church finds Brother Mark Anthony Umpad to be a just and eligible man, by the best of your knowledge, to be a trustee on this, for this congregation. You will signify the same by raising your hand. Thank you. <clears throat> and if there is any contrary, would you raise your hand? Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I would like to announce that uh, the church has confirmed uh, Brother Mark as, uh, for another term for his ministry as a trustee of this church. Yeah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> yeah. Now for the... Uh, the oath giving. Uh, let us uh, place our hands in our in our right hand in our chest. Uh, Brother uh, Joel, please uh, repeat after me. <clears throat> By the grace of God, I will be faithful to the office of trusty and uh, song leader and, and to execute the duties according to the uh, precept of God duties according to the precept of God's revealed word for this age in the best interest of his children from this local church furthermore I shall, I shall endeavor to conduct myself, to conduct myself in, a manner in a manner which shall be consistent, which shall be consistent with, this with this office and which shall be an example, be an example to, the to the people of this church and those without. without. Any time during the term of my, of my office, my Christian, my Christian testimony should fall into dispute, fall into dispute 
so as to bring reflection upon this office and this church, I shall of my own volition resign my office. This is my oath of service in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ with his redeemed ones as my witness. Let us all pray to the Lord once again, O oh, Father, we offer uh, the two souls in front of us, O oh, Lord, in your front as we lift them up, Brother Mark uh, and Brother uh, uh, Joel Ballista today, O oh, Father, uh, committing their uh, ministry unto you once again, that uh, may you, O oh, Father, uh, multiply the blessings in them. I give them all the urge, O oh, Father, and be the example of this church to be always be faithful. You find them faithful, O oh, Father, and trustworthy at their service to you. O oh, Lord, you know their hearts, you know our hearts, and you know their thoughts, O oh, Father, on how we always want and we love to give service unto you, O oh, Father. May this service that they have, the desire that they have, O oh, Father, to fulfill this service be always in accordance to your word and to your will. As we welcome our brother, O oh Father, and our brothers this morning, their ministry, may you vindicate this ministry fully, O oh Lord. And may this term for them, Father, be another year full of blessings, uh, that uh, their lives may be a blessing as well to each and every one of us for this congregation. We lift them up and uh, we offer them into your precious name, of, uh, in your most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us welcome our brothers this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, let's uh, 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 remember our brothers who are in quarantine. Uh, Brother uh, Irwin under quarantine. He was uh, tested positive last uh, last uh, Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we know that. Uh, uh, COVID uh, has no effect with the word of the Lord. <laughs> uh, it's no, oh, no longer affecting our fears, no longer affecting our hearts, our thoughts, our minds. So it's just a simple vacation for Brother Irwin. <laughs> so Brother Irwin is on vacation. Brother Dodong is also on vacation and self-quarantine. Let's just remember them to have a comfort from the Lord while they're alone staying in their rooms. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let's, uh, I'm inviting everyone to be up this morning uh, to, to stand up again, once again. And I would like to greet all our live streamers uh, from all over the places. I know that uh, we have some uh, brethren listening uh, from uh, South Africa, from African region, uh, from Australia, from uh, the Philippines, uh, from India, uh, from uh, 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 the Lord knows from where. But uh, we, we pray that uh, uh, this church w uh, will serve always as a blessing to you. And uh, uh, that's always our prayer and uh, our desire. Hallelujah. Be with us uh, this morning for the reading of the word. Let us open up our uh, scripture once again in the book of Colossians chapter 3. <clears throat> In Colossians chapter 3, verses uh, uh, 1 to 3. If ye then be risen from Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Amen. And uh, let's open up the book of uh, 1 John. Chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. And we have known and believed. The love that God had had to us, God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, perfect, 
and uh, that we have boldness in the day of judgment because he is so are we in this world there is no fear in love but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment he that feareth is not made perfect in love <clears throat> and let's continue in the book of uh, romans 5 5 And hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. These are the words of the Lord. May let us all be seated this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, 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 we didn't, uh, ex uh, I, I'm not expecting that uh, this uh, series will continue up to now. We're on part 16. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, by the, by the grace of the Lord, uh, the Lord keeps on feeding us with the spiritual blessings to, to continue on and move on further on, on, on the message that we have. So we're still on the love and we're discussing one of the things that, uh, that, are, that came from God is love. We have discussed the faith, we have discussed the joy and gladness. And uh, we have discussed, now we are on, on the love of the Lord. <clears throat> and uh, we have learned in the past that uh, uh, love, that uh, fear is uh, something uh, that uh, can be casted out by love. But it is the type of fear that can be casted. And that is the, the tormenting one. That is the one that makes us a slave. And that's the one that punishes us. And, uh, you know, fear, uh, uh, we can also define fear as a false evidence False evidence appearing, <clears throat> appearing to be real. So when I say false evidence that is appearing to be real, it is fear. It is not true, but it looks true. <laughs> okay. So it's a false evidence of feel appearing to be real. It's fear, right? <laughs> so uh, this is a bluff. It is a bluff of the devil, something that is not true, but uh, he's saying that it is in our minds. So because of that truth that we thought that is in our minds, and that's where we started uh, uh, fearing and that's where we started getting in bondage and be in bondage because we thought that it's the truth but in reality it is not <clears throat> so last time we uh, we went to the book of Corinthians and uh, we have said that the book of Corinthians is the book of love it's the book of uh, it's a book of gifts so Corinthians uh, uh, Paul has uh, promoted Corinthians to be the people who is uh, full of uh, full of too many spiritual gifts. And the uh, people are thinking, some of the other churches are thinking that Corinthians is so blessed, it's because that they have all the gifts with them. Like uh, by just looking at them, oh, they are full of faith. Oh, they are full of uh, they are full of knowledge. Oh, they are full of uh, uh, they are full of uh, tongues and they are full of prophecies. So with all those things that uh, 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 people are seeing, they are thinking that they are already that they are already part of uh, that they, they they are the most blessed church because people are looking on the gifts. <coughs> so when son, uh, uh, why why they say that? It's because people again were limited on the things that they can see. So by, by assessing things, the things that they can see, the things that they can touch, they started, they started believing that the church is already full of, uh, is the blessed, the most blessed church because of the things that they can see. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So it is not about the sight. You can see and go to some other churches. You're going to find uh, even in the message that there are some churches that is so poor 
that there is nothing at all that uh, even 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 there's no instrument it's just a single uh, a single simple guitar an acoustic guitar that you're gonna find in but even though the simplicity is there there is full of joy Amen. something that you cannot see but it's something deep inside that keeps on coming letting letting them come back to the church so it's not about the gifts, it's not about the things that they can see, about the things that they can hear, but it's about something that bears and it stays inside. Amen. That is the thing that is most important. And uh, uh, we're not saying that the gifts are bad. I'm not saying that uh, we have to condemn the gifts. What we're saying is that the gifts is a gift, but together with love, that becomes a blessed gift. Amen. But gifts alone, you can still, you can, once it's given to you as a gift, you can always misuse the gifts. Gifts can always be misused. And we have seen that and witnessed that in this very church. There are some brethren who has their own gifts, who can speak in tongue, who has a prophecy, but the gifts are misused. And we remember that gifts can always be imitated by the devil. Gifts can always be imitated. If you just uh, flubber your tongue, it will uh, you, you just flip your tongue. You can you, people can say that you're already speaking in tongues. And uh, in some in some denominational denominational churches, you're gonna find that it's just just something stammering of tongue. They already thought that oh, it's already it's already God. But that is not the measurement that the Holy Ghost is in them. The real measurement of the Holy Ghost is if they believe every word of God and say amen to every word of God. That is the truth that the Holy Ghost is there. That is the proof that the Holy Ghost is in them. Not about the gifts, not about the things that they prophesy, not about the things that they see. I have this huge dream. And people started looking after the man because of the dreams. And people sometimes, they, they, they get it from the movies. Sometimes they, they take it from a friend who, who made some big stories. <laughs> and they will say that, oh, that became my dream. <laughs> so it's not about, again, those gifts. But it is about how God deals with us inside our souls. And how we believe and how we live the life that we are hearing from the Lord. <clears throat> So last time, we started uh, opening up the book of Corinthians. Let's open up the book of 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> Remember this, this church, uh, the Corinthians, even though that they have the gifts, they are uh, one of the churches that started the division. You don't believe that. Inside the church, there are three divisions inside. <laughs> Open up, just uh, to, to show it to you, open up the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. The very first chapter, it's already stated in there. <clears throat> so even though that uh, they have given all the spiritual gifts, they have all the faith and they have all the prophecies. In Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 1 from 12, you're going to find now this I say that every one of you said, I am Paul and I, I of Apollos. See, that the, let's start with 11. For it had been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Contentions among you. Okay? <clears throat> now, pagtatalo-talo, ibig sabihin. Now, this I say that every one of you saith, I am of all, and I am of Apollos, and I am of Cephas, and I am of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but uh, uh, Crispus and Gaius, lest any should, uh, should say that I had baptized in my own name. See, what, what I'm saying is though people thought that they are the most gifted church, it is not about the gifts. Even inside, they have divisions. Inside the church, they have divisions. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So uh, this church, uh, uh, if, if Paul started preaching the love, he's preaching it it's because he see and he saw that this is the one that is missing. 
They enjoyed the gift so much last time you said that they enjoyed the gift so much that they forgot about the giver of the gifts. Totally, they just enjoyed the gifts for their own and they started popping up themselves saying that I have that gift, forgetting who gave them that gift. So, Paul started reminding them, uh, people of Corinthians, there is one God and that God is love. And I am telling you that charity is so important, that God is so important, that love is so important in you. Not about the gifts, but the love is more important than any gifts that you have. That's how he started preaching with them. <clears throat> That's why he said, Though I speak with tongues of men and an angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass of or a tinkling cymbal. So we said last time that there are things, circumstances, uh, uh, that, uh, that the love is superior above. Last time we said that, uh, uh, that love is superior on sensational or emotional uh, circumstances, situations, or things, or, or events. That's why anything that is sensational, anything that's, that is, when we say sensational, <clears throat> Uh, it means something that, uh, that affects your senses. Something that attracts you that affects your senses. When we say something emotional, something that affects your emotion or your mind. Emotion lies with your mind, with your spirit. That's why even affection is in your mind. Remember, love is in your soul, but affection is in your mind. Affection is part of the outlets of the spirit, remember? Remember? We have the outlet of the spirit, but uh, affection it lies in your spirit, but love remains in your heart. Are you, are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that's why there are some sensational things and emotional things that he said that, uh, though I speak of tongues of man, not just of man, but of angels, which is something that can, that can really, that can really uh, attract you. <laughs> So, good speakers. Remember, we say that there are some people who is so good in speaking, in public speaking, that they can make people cry. By just their, by just their speech. Uh, have you ever been in that? Have you ever listened to a speech? Sometimes you, you, you're hearing President Rodrigo uh, uh, saying his uh, uh, State of the Nation address, and you started crying. <laughs> Oh, that's so, that's so emotional. Oh. <laughs> Why? It's because he's a good speaker. Or maybe his writer, his speech writers are good. That attracts the emotion and the sensation of man. So it can be, it can be a good speaker that, uh, uh, that the, you know, uh, the, uh, the place that uh, you're watching, sometimes even the place, it's just his speech. In, in the old days in the Philippines, we just listened to the radio, transistor radio. You know, there's some, some what, what you see in the movies, in the, in the TVs right now as a, as a series of opera, uh, uh, what do you call that, telenovelas? <laughs> in the old days, it's just a transistor radio. By just listening to that, sometimes you will cry. <laughs> Maybe the young people do not understand it now, but uh, the old ones, I would say, <laughs> who was listening to all the radio programs, <laughs> He started crying by just listening to the radio. <laughs> so the uh, people can do that, but uh, uh, they, they can touch the emotions, they can touch the sensation, they can become sensational. Sometimes even the churches even, even in the churches, that's why they started doing a lot of praise and worship songs. It's because that's the only thing they have. To attract the people inside, to, to, to let them feel that because of just keep continuing singing uh, songs to God, we even without any, any, uh, uh, any words at all, they don't have the truth in their preachings, but they only have the songs and the praise and worship songs. And that is the one that they're using, that they're using to attract people. Praise and worship songs will stay for two hours while preaching will last for 30 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes for praise and uh, for preaching while the praise and song will be 2 hours or 3 hours. 
Because that is the only thing they have. But God never remains in those things. Because without love, God thinks that everything is nothing. Everything will become a, a tinkling symbol and a brass. Just like what the heathens did, remember? The heathens, they worship using symbols and, uh, 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 symbols and, uh, uh, and brass. So when we say that uh, you become symbols and, think, uh, uh, and uh, uh, tinkling symbols and brass, it means you are nothing at all. You just became a noise. So whatever worship you do, without the love of the Lord, it is just a noise. And that's the thing that we said last week. Hallelujah. So God is above, that love of God is above sensational things, emotional things. Uh, in chapter, in verse 2, we have said that, And though I have the gift of prophecy, now it is already the gift of prophecy. People are speaking things that are happening in the future, that will happen in the future. People started believing it. Is it possible? It is possible. Some even use the God, the, the say the word, and the say the Lord. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? Even inside the message churches, it is happening. But that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean that it's not of God. It is of God. What we're saying, if that that prophecy, that give a prophecy without the mature love from the Lord, mature means perfect love. Perfect love means the agape love, uh, which the charity of God. It will not. It will bring you somewhere else. Instead of you getting blessed. Being led to the Lord, you will be a straight and led out some somewhere else. Because first thing that will happen is you are not serving man, but you are you, you are not serving God, but you are serving yourselves. That is the nature of the gifts. If without the love of God controlling us, using the gifts, it is just a self-service gift. You are using that just for you to be puffed up. How would you identify now? First thing that you have to look is to look at their lives. If their lives is totally out of the word, that is, though they have the gift of the Lord, genuine gift from the God, but their lives is totally out of the word, do you think you will be able to get that blessing? You will never ever get the blessing. It's because their lives is totally out from the Lord. Are you getting what we're saying here, bride? So even though it is prophecies, uh, that uh, uh, even though you have all the mysteries, it didn't say just part of the mysteries. Understand all mystery. Can you post uh, chapter 13, truth, please? And though, and, have, and though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries. Not just one, not just two, not just three. If you receive the message, a message believing church, it means you understand all the mysteries. Nothing is already hidden from you. But understanding mystery doesn't necessarily mean it is a revelation of the mystery. You can understand the mystery by your knowledge. You can understand the mystery by studying it. You can understand what happened in the Garden of Eden. You can understand what is the baptism. You can understand what the predestination is. But without the love of God, nothing will flow out from your lives. Without the love of God, nothing will flow out. Everything will remain as a head knowledge. So you can start sharing things. You can start giving things to others. But everything is a head knowledge. And people get attracted on knowledge. Once they started saying, oh, this is a knowledgeable man. Oh, this is a knowledgeable minister. This is a knowledgeable woman. They get attracted because of knowledge. They got amazed. That's why we say that God is above us, the amazement. God, love of God, this pure love, this agape love of God is above this, uh, this, uh, the spectacular and amazing things. Right? That's the, that's the thing that we were establishing last week. <clears throat> there are gifts initiated by the enemies 
And people started believing that those are of God. They are gifts initiated people uh, inside message churches. Inside message churches having tongues. But there, if there's a lack of discernment, that will continue and that is a devil worship. Again, I'm not against the gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, misinterpret that against the gifts that I am against the gifts of the Lord, but the gifts of God must be operated with love. Yes. Gift of God must always be operated with love. <clears throat> Hallelujah! So you'll, you, we 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 uh, uh, also stated last week that uh, if uh, uh, this verse is also a verse that is uh, full of faith. Because uh, there cannot be, you cannot, you cannot move a mountain without the third pull. <laughs> it means that uh, uh, though I have all faith, not just a simple faith, uh, not just a simple faith, not just half faith, but all faith. It means you are completed. You have the completion of faith. Though you have all the completion of faith, if you don't have the completion of love. It is nothing. Are you getting what I'm saying here, bride? So even though that you have the fullness of faith, without the fullness of love, you are nothing. There still has to have the fullness of love. It is good to have faith. It is good to, good. It is good to pray for others. It is good to extend our faith to others. But that faith, that fullness, I believe by the time that God comes back, all the love will be full and up to the top. It's because that's the only thing that God will be looking in His bride. He will be looking that from His bride. <coughs> Hallelujah. So people get amazed uh, uh, with, the, with all the prophecies, with all the tongues. And uh, even Paul says that uh, uh, even if an angel, something is spectacular, an angel from heaven comes down and preach any other gospel than that we already preach, let them be accursed. It's spectacular things. Just imagine an angel coming down from heaven. First thing that you're going to do, people will run to him, thinking that he's already God. Isn't it true? If you see people who's doing some magic tricks, just tricks, <laughs> when they see people levitating, people start running to him and see what's happening in here. <laughs> but those are just tricks. <laughs> but people are already attracted. What more if it's an angel from heaven that comes down? Are you not going to worship that? Because you look at the spectacular things. <laughs> right? But Paul says, uh, by just knowing at that angel that came down from heaven, you're already amazed. What more if he started speaking? Once he started speaking, everybody will listen and follow right away. But Paul is saying that if whatever he's saying is totally different from what is already preached, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed because it's not, it's not, it's out of the word of God. So, but how would you know that? Only through the love of God. Right. Only through the love of God. The love of God, if it's not there, even though all those things happen, it is nothing. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Uh, people started following them because of uh, the amazement that they have. People started following and people, they're using the knowledge to proselyte other churches. Uh -huh. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> People are starting their knowledge. There's too many denominations even. They started uh, uh, using the knowledge in the scripture to proselyte and bring people to the churches. It is the knowledge of the scripture that they're using. Even inside the message churches. <laughs> they're using the knowledge of the message to proselyte some other people from other churches. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, 
Sometimes they, they use knowledge to, to wrong others intentionally. They use their knowledge to put uh, some other people in an open shame. That's right. Are you getting what I'm saying? That sometimes there's something because you did something wrong. They're going to use the knowledge that they learned from the message. The knowledge that they learned from the scripture. And going to put you on open shame. Rebuke you openly with all the brethren around. That's right. Putting people because of the knowledge that they have. Because if you have the love of God. You have to follow the scripture. Yeah. Talk to the brethren alone first. And tell them there is something wrong that is happening. And after we didn't listen, talk and bring another elder with you. That is the process that's supposed to happen. Sometimes they started posting it. Uh, oh, this lady. Huh? Mm. <laughs> right away, it's already in the internet. Everybody, the people you don't know, people you know. Friends of friends of friends of friends. <laughs> he started, who is this guy? <laughs> Who, who, is, who is this uh, woman so, so frustrated in life? <laughs> so people started following those. Whoever follows you in your social media, you started learning all the things that are happening in your life. <laughs> Using the internet to shame others. Using the internet to rebuke others. We're just, we're just saying things that uh, can happen or already happening. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, but that is not what the love of God says. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh, and sometimes we become, you become critical because you have all the knowledge with you. You become critical of small things. You become critical on small things. Critical means you keep on critiquing things, even small things, because of the knowledge that you have. Not because of love. But because of the knowledge that you have. And that is real. That is happening. Hallelujah. But the brethren with the love of God. The only thing that he's going to do or she's going to do is to pray for them. And that is the real love of God. <laughs> so... Whatever they do, the only thing that you have to do is to pray for them. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, faith that can move mountains. <clears throat> we know about that, right? Uh, so it's the third pool. Uh, and uh, though you have all the faith, if you don't know how to use your faith, it is nothing. Though you have all the faith. And uh, last week's, uh, last week's uh, service, we said that uh, your, your neighbor keeps on parking to your parking space. <laughs> <laughs> so what you say? Uh, so both of us won't enjoy it. Uh, let the let the <laughs> let the <laughs> storm come <calm> down <laughs> and uh, break the tree down. So no one's going to park in there. <laughs> You're using your third bull. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh, there's another, next, after we say that uh, love is superior to, uh, to uh, first we say that it's superior to sensational things or uh, uh, emotional things. We say, that, secondly, love is superior to the things that are uh, spectacular and things that are amazing. Now, let's read this, uh, uh, Corinthians 13.3. And though I bestow all my goods... To feed, although I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my, ma my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. What is this? Something that is sacrificial. Is it sacrificial? Yes. It's because that you're giving all. You didn't say you're not giving just part of my treasure or part of my, of my goods. It says, though you bestow all. So you're giving all. You're sacrificing everything you have. So even though that you sacrifice all things. Oh, I'm going to give all my houses and lot. Uh, just, uh, to, just to help my brother. It doesn't mean anything to the Lord. Oh, I'm going to sacrifice everything that I have just to feed my family or just to give uh, another families. 
uh, assist another family or assist my whoever. It's because uh, what we're, we're saying is this is nothing still to the Lord. Even though you, that's sacrificial things, right? You sacrifice what you have. <clears throat> Even if you give alms. When you give alms, it's sacrificial, right? right? It's because it's something that you earned and you're giving it away. It's a sacrifice. Even if you donate to some charities or some, some social events so that is a, a, a donation for a good cause, that is also, a, that's also sacrifice. Are you following what I'm saying here? So something that is for a good cause, you donate something, you donate your time to help others, that is sacrifice. Even by just donating time. I'm going to donate my time to, to drive for uh, my brethren. That is sacrificing of time. That's right. Something that you own that you give. So sacrificing is not just about money. Sacrificing is not just about uh, what you have. Sacrificing is something that, uh, that you can control. And you are giving away. Are you following what I'm saying here? So, something that you can control for your own, but you're giving it away, that is called a sacrifice. So, even though that you give and do all these things, if without the love of God, it is still nothing. It's because you can do all these things with a bad intent. Because you can do all the sacrifices to gain the merit of others. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Amen. You're sacrificing things so that you can have a good uh, popularity. You're sacrificing things so that uh, you, can be, you can be famous. You're sacrificing it. It's because that you want to leave yourself off once again. But people will not understand that it's only you and God who can do that. Can you, who knows that? Right. You're trying to help but in reality, there's something behind your help. You're trying to give something to others, but in reality, um, I'm just going to give because some, some other day, I'm going to get it back. That's right. You have an intention of getting whatever help you have given, and at one point, you will be gaining something. Are you following what I'm saying here? <clears throat> so sacrificial things uh, without... Uh, without the love of God is totally nothing. Just like uh, if you're going to see the, what, the, what the politicians and the actors and the actresses are doing. They always do good, uh, do, uh, sacrifice things, but in reality, there's something that they want in exchange. Even inside the churches, it is happening. Even inside the churches, it is happening. You think of something, just think it's because it happened at one point with you That's right. that you're trying to assist some brethren but in reality there's something behind your mind that you want to get even at one point That's right. not because you're doing the assistance out of love but because you want an exchange so is that the love of god it is nothing even you say, I have sacrificed things, I have done this, I have done. It is nothing. Because with the real love of God, you are not expecting an exchange. You are not expecting a return. You are not expecting something of a merit that will happen to you. No merit at all, regardless of what I did. It is my help. You are not expecting something back. That is the love of God. But whenever you do something for others because you want something in return, that's something different. Hallelujah. It is not about us. That is selfish love once again, right? It is always about God. We do it because of God. We help others because of God. We give alms because of God. We give to the beggar and to the poor because of God. We assist others because of God. We help whatever time we got because of God. Yeah. Not because of any other thing. Yeah. Everything is because of God. Because that is the real love of God in us. Yeah. That is the real love of God of us. Even though you sacrifice your blood. 
Oh, I'm going to need my blood. It's because at, at one point, once I, I, I'm, I'm about to die, somebody will donate for me. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I'm going to donate one of my kidneys. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, once my other kitty goes down, someone will donate for me. So, uh, even donation. So, uh, what, what did he say there? If I go, I give my body. So now, it's just your whatever treasure you have. Even your physical self. You started trying to hurt your own. You are giving your flesh. You are donating your blood. What? You are giving your life to others. Oh, you're my best friend. Whatever happened, I'm going to die for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we are buddies from, from, from military. Whatever happened, I cover my back. You cover mine. <laughs> Whatever happens, I'm going to give my life for you. Easily you can say, once the time comes, you run away. <laughs> it is so easy to say. <laughs> but, uh, so what about husbands and loves uh, and wives? <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> I will give my life for you. <laughs> but uh, when trouble comes, go on your way, I'll go on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrificial Something that you sacrifice Love Is above All things that you do And you sacrifice So even uh, the, best, uh, the best thing that a man can do To sacrifice is not just the things That he has But the, the highest levels of sacrifice Is already The sacrifice of love Are you following me? Are, are you following what I'm saying? I can sacrifice all my own. I can sacrifice my car. I can sacrifice my house. I can sacrifice my, my uh, everything you can sacrifice. Once you sacrifice that what's remaining with you, your life. Right? Once you started sacrificing your life, what is left with you? None. What is the highest level of sacrifice for you right now? It is your life. So once we started reading this, even though the levels of sacrifices that you did, whatever level, even the highest level that you sacrifice your life, it is still nothing without the love of God. Without the love of God, even the highest sacrifice, even your life. Are you getting what I'm saying here? The weight of sacrifice, the level, different levels of sacrifice that we do. Time, money, uh, treasure, family, clothing, whatever. Life, that's the highest level. And you give it to others, it's still nothing. Without the love of God. So the love of God is higher than any other things that you can sacrifice. It is still higher. It is above than any other things that you can sacrifice. Are you getting what we're saying here? Superior than any sacrificial things, circumstances, or events, the love of God is still higher than that. So we're describing all uh, the attributes of the, the love of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Sacrifice sometimes is... Uh, uh, It is triggered because you are a principled man or woman. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? When you say principled man, a principled man is uh, a man who is acting in accordance with the, uh, the fundamental truth. So a principled man is a man who is acting in accordance with the fundamental truth or proposition that seems uh, that serves as the foundation of a system of belief or behavior or for a chain of reasoning so a principled man is acting in accordance with the things that he thought is right do you follow me 
we, we keep on telling everybody has their own standard. Before you accept the Lord, everybody has their own uh, moral standards. When we say moral standards, you have your own morality. You know what is right and what is wrong based on the things that you know in your, in your head, in your mind. Are you following me? So based on that, sometimes you don't want to break what is in your morality on the standards that you have. That if you don't break it and you want to stand by it, it means that you are a principled man. Oh, dahil sa prinsipyo ko, because of my principles. Yun yung mga paninindigan ko. Mga prinsipyo ko. Are you following me? So those principles, you are a principled man and you sacrifice things because of your principles. Oh, come, come, come in here. Don't forget about what happened yesterday. No, 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 no. It's my mistake. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Whatever happened in the past, forget about it. Come, join us. You are already forgiven. No. My mistake, I won't come. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever experienced that? <laughs> so, because of your principles, you don't want to eat whatever you have stood for or whatever you have stated. I'm a principled man, even though you're wrong and you have proven yourself wrong, you don't want to accept. <laughs> even though you're wrong and everybody has already proven you're wrong. <laughs> You still don't want to move and you still don't want to budge. Principled man. So you, become, you sacrifice, you started sacrificing things because of the principles that you have. So even though that it is already wrong and totally against the scripture, you still stand with it. It is against the message. You still stand with it. It's because that is the principles that you have. And normally that's happening for, for people who, uh, uh, if uh, uh, those people who were raised in a different doctrine, oh, from this is the belief of my dad, this is the belief of my granddad, this is the belief of my great, 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 great grandfather. So if they died in here, I will die in here. <laughs> Even though not searching for the truth, <laughs> because it's the principle that they stood for. <laughs> they die, I will die. Say you die. <laughs> you don't want to listen, then you will die, surely. <laughs> so sacrifices. Sacrifices, but the love of God is above even all those sacrifices that we have. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So uh, uh, sometimes. <clears throat> Uh, that's why uh, when even they said the, the better truth, right? That uh, they they still they still don't believe. <laughs> they don't want to change their principles as it will remove them from their comfort zones. That's their comfort zone. They they're used to doing whatever they want to do in that belief that they have. Oh, well, in there you're going to uh, you're not going to cut your hair. Oh, I cannot come. Oh, your dear woman are not wearing are not wearing pants. Oh, I cannot come <laughs> because it will change their their routine in lives. That's why they, that's why they want to to to, uh, to accept it. That's why they want to they don't want to believe it, even though that they even though that they already knew that it's the truth. Even though that they know that it's the right thing to do, they don't want to accept because they don't want to change the routine that they're already in and the truth that they know that they have in their minds. Not the truth that is already written in the scripture. They don't want to, uh, it's, I would rather sacrifice my life than believing that message. And that life that you have is just this much against what? What's that called? A moment. Even though that you will be given 10 million years by God, God is still called it a moment. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. Sacrifice without love is nothing at all. Sacrifice 
uh, the, the gifts without love is nothing at all. And all those gifts without love is a waste of time. It is a waste of time. Because if it's nothing, why are you doing it then? It is just a waste of time. <laughs> but all the sacrifices that you do with love is something godly. Yes. Hallelujah. So Paul started showing uh, uh, the love in a way that uh, uh, he can describe it as a diamond. You know what a diamond is? A diamond or a gem has too many cuts, remember? And anybody has seen a gem or a diamond in here? Uh, you, can, you can always check the, the internet and look at the diamond. What, every cut of the diamond, it is called a facet. Okay. So a diamond has many facets. It means it has many faces, flat surface. Whatever flat surface in, there in the diamond, it's called it's a facet. So a diamond has many facets. It means that Paul has considered love and promoted love just like a diamond with many facets, with many faces. With many flat surfaces that you can look upon. That's why he started in this, uh, in this Corinthians to describe it in that way. <clears throat> so let us start describing it in 13.4. Uh, he started saying, charity, what is charity? The love of God, which is agape love. This agape love is a love that suffered long. It is uh, a love that suffered long. When we say uh, suffered long, can we click the word suffered long, sister? It means uh, to be of long spirit or not to lose heart. Down. To be of a long spirit or not to lose heart. It says uh, to persevere patiently and bravely in enduring misfortunes and troubles. So it is persevere patiently. Perseverance, there's a perseverance and you have to persevere patiently and bravely enduring, bearing all the misfortunes and troubles. So this is not just waiting. When you say patience, it means it's about something, it's a, it's, a, it's a measure of time. When is it going to happen? Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. When you say patient, do you have any patience? Remember part of the five of the, uh, uh, the stage of the perfect man is patience, having patience. When you say having patience, how long can you wait? It means it's a matter of time, it's a measure of time. How long can you wait? But long suffering is Patience plus, in addition to patience, you are enduring the, misfor the misfortunes and the troubles. Not just waiting, but while you are waiting, someone is attacking you. While you're waiting, someone is attacking you. Someone is hitting you. Are you following what I'm saying here? Someone is provoking you. It is uh, a patient endurance under provocation. That is also uh, the meaning of long suffering. Patient endurance under provocation. Persevere patiently and bravely in enduring misfortunes. So it means that uh, you have to, uh, uh, to be patient uh, is bearing in bearing the offenses and injuries of others. Patient in bearing the, the attacks, the offenses, and the injuries that is brought to you by others. While they keep on beating you, while they keep on hitting you, you are just patiently waiting in there. It's slow to punish. You do not, you do not, uh, you do not avenge back. You do not commit, you do, you do not even intend to revenge. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. No avenging, no, no, uh, to be mild and slow to punish. So, slow to anger, it is slow to punish or slow in avenging. Do you think, uh, do you think that's possible? <laughs> We're, we're talking about time.
I'm just talking about patience. Right? I, get to, I can see too many brethren who is losing their patience. <laughs> and now we're talking about patience plus attacks. <laughs> now we are talking about patience and somebody attacking you while you're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people uh, uh, at work. Oh, I just lost my patience. For simple things, you lose your patience. For simple things, uh, you became high tempered. <laughs> For simple things. And now God is telling us that love is long suffering. Patience with endurance of attacks and provocation from others. Endurance of injuries done by others unto you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Patiently uh, waiting sometimes is so hard to do, right? <laughs> what more if uh, you're patiently working and uh, someone is provoking you? And you are not supposed to avenge back. <laughs> you are not supposed to even think that uh, you have to get even. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Just imagine that the people will do say bad things unto you. Saying bad things is still good. You can still bear it. But saying bad things uh, 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 in the internet to your loved ones. All your loved ones are seeing that uh, you're doing some, uh, that uh, they're, they're doing some bad things against you. They keep on attacking you in too many ways. They keep on attacking you in, uh, they keep on hitting you hard whenever they see you. <laughs> they destroy your reputation. They try, they always try to anger you. Ah, this guy, when, ah, this store again, ah, let's try to anger him. Uh, we're, we're enjoying him we, every time that he's angry. <laughs> People are enjoying every time that uh, they see Brother Nestor at work angry. <laughs> they keep on provoking. They keep on provoking. But God is doing that. It's because God is working on something on us. He keeps on doing it to you. It's because he's working on something. Because his perfect love will not be seen. Not unless you go through that experience. And unless you go to those trials. For you to get it. To, to improve and to mature. And to grow. Amen. That's why you. If you are not experiencing that. You have to ask for it. If you are not experiencing those, you have to ask. Otherwise, your long suffering will be late to grow. Exactly. Exactly. Amen. But if you are experiencing it, praise the Lord for every attack that I receive, oh Father. Today, I avenge back. Tomorrow, I avenge back. <laughs> Until such time that, Father, you have built yourself in me. Your love has grown. And the day will come. Whatever they do. Just like what they did to Christ. He said father. Forgive them. For they don't know what they are doing. And that's the only thing that God did. While people keep on attacking him. Oh father forgive them. For they don't know what are they are doing. What is that perfect love that flows out from Christ. In his long suffering. While he is being attacked. Are you following what I'm saying here? While he's being attacked. Patiently. He waited. Patiently he is being, he is being punished. How many days did he suffer? The punishment. He waited. When is it, this? When is, when is it going to happen? I, I, when is this going to happen? If you are in this position. You say come quickly oh father. But he patiently waited, took all the sufferings until he said that the cross, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. He's still with the love that came from Christ, with all the beating that he received, with all the torture. But he patiently endured the suffering 
without any anger at all. Hallelujah. Are, are, are you seeing what we're, what, what we're getting in here? Long suffering. While uh, us, uh, the simple things, we, even patience is not there. <laughs> simple things, you cannot even see the patience. Hallelujah. What about long suffering? People do, uh, you know, people are talking behind you or destroys you or hates you. With long suffering, you can smile back at them. With long suffering, do you know? They keep on attacking you, they keep on, with, uh, with long suffering, you can still shake your hands. Even though they say something behind you, with long suffering, they still, you can still hug them with love. With a pure hug, a sincere one, not uh, hugging and they say something. <laughs> With a sincere love, you can hug them. Hallelujah! And that is the love from the Lord. Hallelujah! Have you ever been? Have you ever experienced to be a center of gossip? Yes. <laughs> People talking about your lives. <laughs> Here and there, here and there. And uh, you became out of places because everybody's already laughing at you and you don't know. <laughs> What's, uh, that is the test of long suffering. Right. Hallelujah. People, all, everybody talk about your bad, the, bad, the bad things about you. But uh, long suffering, you're not going to avenge back. Yes. Long suffering, you are slow to avenge. Hallelujah. Patiently bearing the offenses or injuries of others. It does not retaliate when provoked. That's why those Corinthians who were given those, uh, 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 that's, uh, 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 Paul is telling this to the Corinthians is because they can be provoked easily. <laughs> that's why he is telling them that you need the perfect love so that you can control and hold on yourself. So to avoid all those provocations, that even the provocation is there, nothing will happen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So good example, another good example of long suffering is what happened in the book of Acts. Let's open up the book of Acts 7. Just imagine this, uh, this brethren. This brother of ours in book of Acts chapter 7 verses 55 to 60. But he being full of the Holy Ghost looked up and steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God. And Jesus is standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man is standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Those are the people around him. And cast him out of the city and he stoned him. And the, the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the, this sin to their charge and when he said he had said this he fell asleep so there's another another person aside from Jesus Christ there's another man with long suffering who is suffering unto death but while being beaten and being stoned to death it is not just to hurt him the very purpose is to let him die to kill him by stone and while he is being stoned, he can still pray to the Lord and say, Oh, Father, lay not this sin to their charge. This is the love and long suffering that God is expecting from his bride. Hallelujah. Do you think it will happen? <laughs> Do not doubt it. <laughs> Because if you started doubting it, it will not happen. 
But if you started believing it, you cannot do it on your own. That's why you need the love of God. <laughs> That's why we need the love of God. Because He knows we cannot do it. He knows we cannot do it. For us to do it, we need the love of God to mature. We need Him for us to do it. It is not us who's going to do it again, but it is Him in us who will be able to do it for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, never, uh, whoever provokes you, you just only have to pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing that can be done on them but just to keep on praying. So, 13.4 again. So, charity... We said charity is long-suffering. Charity is kind. Kind refers to the active goodness. When we say active goodness that gets forth uh, in behalf of others. So it is a genuine love. Uh, the genuine love is never hateful or mean, but it, but it respects others or reaches out to them. Kind means good. It's, it means good-natured, it means tender, it means affectionate, it means uh, uh, wishes, uh, uh, wishes well, more pleasant of people, virtuous good. When, if you're going to press that word kind, that's what, that's what you're going to see. So it means good-natured. Good words, fair speaking, and smooth and plausible address which uh, stimulates goodness. Uh, tender, affectionate, wishes well, more pleasant of people. It's virtuous, it's good. Good nature becomes active manifestation, then help others unselfishly. So when you say you are kind, you keep helping others. When you are kind, you are helping others. When you help others, just like what we have said earlier, as, a, 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 as, part, of, uh, as part of the sacrifice, right? You sacrifice things, but you sacrifice things with kindness. You do your sacrifices because there's the kind thing in us. Are you getting what we're saying here? Amen. If that kind, if that kindness is not you, you're kind, you're kind, you're good. Whatever happens, you're already good, right? <laughs> so kind is one of the facets. One of the facets of love, one of the faces of love is long suffering. Another face of love is kindness. Amen. You're still with us. Amen. So when we say kind, you help others, but when you, when, when you help others, you have to ensure that you're helping others without promoting yourself. You help others without promoting yourself. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So act of kindness or goodness, you're going to find it in Matthew, 40, Matthew 5. Let's open up the book of Matthew 5. This is another... Uh, <clears throat> uh, from the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus Christ is speaking himself. Matthew 5, in verses 44 and 45. Love your... <laughs> but I say unto you, love your enemies. <laughs> Last week we're serving you, uh, we're telling you have to love your wives. <laughs> Husband, love your wives. <laughs> this week we're telling you, love your enemies. <laughs> you have to love your enemies. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> People cursing you, and then you have to bless them. <laughs> but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Be kind to them that hate you. That's what the God is telling us. Be kind to them that hate you. Be good to them that hate you. And pray to them which despite, this despitefully use you and persecute you. Love your enemies. <laughs> Love your enemies. These are uh, uh, so hard. <laughs> it's uh, so hard a statement. <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> whenever you see this, 
definitely first thing that you're gonna say, oh Father, I won't be able to do that. <laughs> you won't be able to do that on your own. Again, we're telling, right? That's why, that's why you really need the love of God because without the love of God, you can never do that. And that's what God did when He came to when He came here on earth. When He came here on earth, uh, to, uh, uh, here on earth, He started making law stricter than before. Remember when we started the law that uh, uh, thou shall not uh, uh, thou shall not kill. But God started saying, you, "Yes, I told you that thou shall not kill. But whosoever hated his brother is already killing him. Without a cause, he's already killing him." So you're not physically killing him in the law. You have to kill him physically. And then you get the penalty of death. Yes. But when Jesus Christ came, he changed it. Yes, just Thou shall not kill. But I am telling you, whosoever hated his brother without a cause, you're already killing him. <laughs> I'm telling you, thou shall not commit adultery. But I'm telling you, whosoever lasted to a woman, by looking, by just looking and babying a lust on a woman, you're already committing adultery in your heart. It is more restrictive. It is more restricted. It is. It became more harder to do. Before, it is so hard to commit, not to commit adultery. <laughs> and then it added thing that, that that was placed is you're not supposed to look with the last. Because once you started doing that, you're already committing something in your heart. So uh, uh, those, those are the restrictions that God did. He made the law harder. For the people not to follow. Are you getting what we're saying here? He made it harder so that no one can follow it. No one can follow it. Only the only people who can follow it are the bride of God, who His love is already in, whom the Holy Ghost is already in. Because it is only through God that you can follow all His commandments. Without God, totally, you cannot do it on your own. That's why he made it that way. So you have to always call God. Every time, every minute, every hour of the day. You always have to call him. You have to put all your things and all your cares unto God. Made it restrictor, not on your own. Do not tell, I can do this. Oh, I'm so good, I can do this. Oh, I'm so knowledgeable. I'm so intelligent. I can do this on my own. You can never do anything. You are in there right now because God wants you to be there. You are in your position right now because God has placed you in that position. If God didn't put you in your position, you are nothing at all. You're having all your work because God has placed you on your works. Amen. While the rest of the people of the world are in famine. They don't know where to get their food. They don't know where to get water. People of the Lord, people of God. He's still protecting and giving all the needs of his children. And he will never fail. He will never fail. Hallelujah. <coughs> he started uh, 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 Remember when when he when uh, uh, he gave the sun he made the sun to shine to both the good and the bad. So he's telling us to be kind. He's telling us to be kind to those people whom we hate. He's, he's saying, he's telling us that there's no, with God, he doesn't love, there's no, there's no uh, 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 good or bad for him. But the blessings that he gives, he gives it to all. He's giving, he has given blessings, he's given the blessings of son to all. He's giving the blessing of the word to all. He is giving the blessings of the Holy Spirit to all. Is it true? When the rain came, which is the Holy Ghost, is the uh, uh, symbol of the Holy Ghost, it rained to all, both what? The wheat and the, the tears. He didn't say, okay, the sun, 
will only will only shine on the tears or, or the sun will only shine on the wheat and you're gonna find that if there's a tear and the sun a wheat together this one there's a sunlight and the other one that's no sunlight <laughs> is that how god did it <laughs> no there's no impartiality when he gave the sun and when he gave the sunlight and when he gave the rain to everyone he said everybody will enjoy it so it's both the just and the unjust who will be enjoying it. So when he said that you have to be kind, that's why he started praying. Even not just for the people that, the, not just for the people whom you gain something from. But you also pray for the people who keeps on bugging you. Who keeps on nagging you. Sometimes you keep on praying for only those people. It's because that you gain something from them. Oh, the, the father, don't forget about my brother. <laughs> uh, monthly he's giving me a sack of rice <laughs> monthly he's giving me a ration because I don't have any salary <laughs> oh please father don't forget about him while others who keeps on coming to you can I borrow something from you <laughs> you forgot praying for them where in reality they need the prayer more than the brother that you're praying for they need the prayer more are you following what I'm saying here? They need it more than the brother, the brother that you're getting something from. Why? It's because, because you worry again about yourself. Because if that brother loses something, if loses his, or sister loses his job, oh, I'm not going to gain anything. <laughs> so you keep only praying for that brother or sister that you're gaining something from. But God is telling us to pray for all because when he gave his love to all he gave it both to the just and to the unjust he was not impartial he didn't say that okay uh, no rain for you with you have a uh, with you have a rain <laughs> so he didn't put a small umbrellas on the tears <laughs> are you getting what i'm saying here <laughs> But he gave it to everyone. And it's the same thing with the kindness that we have to show to others. Don't just be kind to others that you gain something from. You have to be kind to everyone. To those need the needful people, to those uh, people who need something, they are the most people that you have to be kind with. Don't be, don't, you have to be kind to all. <laughs> But uh, you don't have to ignore those people who comes and knocks on your door. Sometimes some people come and knocks on your door and you ignore them. <laughs> Somebody already confessed. <laughs> but it is happening. Yes. Is it true that it is happening? Sometimes people come to your door, even though whoever they are, whether the, they're, the, they're a criminal or not, whatever intent they have, but the kindness that God has placed in your heart with His love, whoever they are, they will, you will provide and you will give assistance and you will help. Whoever they are, even though they, they don't need anything, even if they are the richest people, the richest man in the world, come to your house and knock and ask for something, you have to give. That's why He was told us uh, you have to entertain these strangers. Because you might entertain those strangers. You never know that they are an angels unaware. You're not aware that it's already the angels you're entertaining. So it's not you have to be, you're not supposed to be impartial to whoever knocks on your door. God, when God says, well, some of you come, knock unto me and it shall be opened unto you. That's the way that the bride is supposed to be doing too. That's the way that the bride is supposed to be doing too. Whoever comes and knocks, you have to open and you have to assist and you have to give. Even though that you have nothing. Not the leftovers. I have a leftover, give it the leftover to them. Hallelujah. I have a used clothes, give my used clothes to them. If you want to, if you want to assist, give them the best. That's right. Hallelujah. That is the love of God. If the love of God is in us, that is the kindness that God is expecting from us. Hallelujah. Are, are you with us? Hallelujah. 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 The love of God. 
has so many faces, has so many facets. So we'll we'll be continuing this verse next uh, next week. <laughs> because the next one will be envy. <laughs> <laughs> you have to prepare yourself for next week. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray that uh, you have you have been blessed with the message. Let us all stand. Let us all stand up to the Lord. <laughs> Faces of love, the facets of a diamond. The facets of love of God, the true love of God, the, the, the agape love of God, and how He wants us uh, to deal with. Uh, are, aren't you happy God is teaching us? Yeah. Teaching us, showing us things. Normal, sometimes it's just a normal thing that is happening that uh, we ignore, but we do not know that something is so important, and that's already a part of the love of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let's sing it one more time, the love of God. <clears throat> the love of God is greater far. Oh, thank you, Father. And never tell it goes beyond the highest star when riches to the lowest hell. Oh, the guilty pain bow down with care. God gave his son to win his erring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin oh love of God hallelujah father how rich and pure is your love, O oh Lord. How grateful are we, O oh Lord. Opening up all the facets of your love. Opening up and showing us, O oh Lord, what love have you extended in multiple ways, in multiple faces, in multiple perspectives and approaches, O oh Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh Father. When men who hear refuse to pray on rocks and hills and mountains call, God's love so sure shall steal and do all measureless and strong redeeming grace to what arms raise the saints and angels song oh love of God Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for considering all of us, oh Father, and brought us in your sea of love. Thank you, oh Jesus. Get we with thee, the ocean field, and with the sky. Oh, parchment made Where every soul On earth a queen And 
and every scrap as cry by trade to write the love of God above with drain the ocean dry hallelujah nor could the scroll contain the whole though stretched from sky to the sky Let's continue singing. Oh, love of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, song, oh Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you for showing us, oh Lord, the wonderful things, opening us today, oh Father, telling us what type of love you have given, different faces, different ways, different. <laughs> Things, oh Father, for us to understand your great love. Understanding the sea of love, oh Father, that you have opened for us. Understanding who you are fully, oh Lord. How you understand, oh Father. Letting us understand you are above anything that is above all the gifts so oh, father that you have given <laughs> above all the supernatural things even oh lord <laughs> above all the nice speeches of man <laughs> above all the super the spectacular about anything that touches our emotions <laughs> about anything that touches our senses <laughs> above anything oh father <laughs> That even we sacrifice our life. Your love is still higher than the sacrifices that we do. <laughs> the greatest love, oh Father. <laughs> Showing us the long suffering that you did. <laughs> that even if you were beaten hardly. There is nothing for you to abase back. But instead you for us them to be forgiven for they didn't know what they're doing. We are a needy people today, oh Father. We are a needy children today. Of your love, of your perfect love. Mature our love today, oh Father. Put it up, O oh Lord, to the maturity that you want us to be in. Understanding others, loving our enemies, praying for those who hate us, praying for those, O oh Father, who persecutes us, praying for those, O oh Lord, who try to attack us. Patiently enduring, O oh Lord, all provocations by the enemy. Patiently enduring all the injuries, O oh Father, that has been brought to us. Thank you for your love. Only your love can do this for us. Only your love can make this happen. To your children and to your bride, oh Father. Thank you, oh Lord, letting us understanding these things as we claim today through the power of your name, oh Lord, 
that you empower all of us with the mature love that comes from you. Your agape love, oh Father. Thank you, oh Jesus, for everything. Thank you, oh Jesus, for this message today. As we give everything unto you, we lift up your mighty name. We give you all the blessings on the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Father. Thank you for your love, oh God. Thank you for your love, oh God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just sing another song in closing. In the presence of Jehovah. Let's always be in the presence of God. As in His presence, we can always get His love. It's only in His presence, O oh, Father, that you will be pleased with us. We remain in your presence as well, O oh, Lord. Hallelujah. In and out of situations, the tug of war. Oh, We're still struggling, oh Father. Your children, your bride, oh Lord, is still struggling. We need you. We need you today. We need you to mature us today, oh Lord. Mature our goodness, O oh Father. Fill us with your kindness, O oh Lord. Fill our patience today, O oh Lord. Let our temples grow up and mature, O oh Father. Through your love oh. and in your presence. In your presence, O oh Father, everything is possible. In your presence, O oh Lord, you will be able to answer all our prayers. In your presence, O oh Father, we will be able to put all our troubles on you. In your presence, the sick will be healed. The sickness in our souls. Sickness in our minds, oh Father, we over it up today. All these sicknesses will be healed in your presence, oh Lord. In your presence, oh Father, we may be able to love one another. Help us, oh Father, to love our enemies and to pray for our enemies, oh Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, Father. A place to find the answer in our of distress now there is never any reason to keep up in despair just look around and breathe his name he will come and meet you there when in the presence oh thank you father for your presence oh jehovah god oh my 
we offer the lives of every children of this congregation to you today, O oh Lord. We offer our loved ones as well, O oh Father, this morning. We offer all our brothers who was not able to come. Our sisters, O oh Father, who was not able to come this morning. We offer unto you, O oh Lord, all our brethren who are live streaming today. We offer all, all, all in all, all, all ourselves unto you. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of Jehovah, God Almighty, Prince of Peace. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Hallelujah. In uh, closing, may I call on Brother Nelson to uh, close our service this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. Truly, Lord, your love, O oh God, is very big, O oh God. Amen. We cannot measure, oh Lord. Amen. We cannot, oh Lord, we cannot say anything, Lord. There is no such word, Lord, to thank thee, Lord, for thy great love, O oh God, that you have given unto us. We thank you, Lord, for the message, Lord, that you have given oh, to us. How Jesus, can we, Lord, thank you, Lord, act and how can we face, Lord, this word of God, Jesus Christ? somebody Lord is attacking us Hallelujah. giving us Hallelujah. Lord that Hallelujah. perfect love oh God Hallelujah. to project Lord that uh, perfect love unto the others Lord Hallelujah. that they can see you Lord in our life oh God we thank you Lord for all the things oh God Hallelujah. truly Lord for the perfect Lord uh, love oh God Jesus Christ where we can do all the things Lord only Hallelujah. facing this world oh God to love you, Lord, the great uh, commandment that you have given, O oh Lord. Amen, to love God. you, O oh God, and to love, Lord, our Hallelujah. enemies, O oh God, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. With that perfect love, Lord, all the things will be easy, O oh God. Yes, we thank you, Lord, Amen. for the, all the things. Amen, oh Continuously, Father. Lord, uh, teaching us, O oh Lord, encouraging, Amen, Lord, oh us, Father. giving us, Lord, the reminders, Hallelujah. Lord, in our life. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, Still, there we have a, a very little, Hallelujah. small time, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, to uh, redeeming all the time, oh God, that we Amen, have, oh God, in our Lord lives, God. Lord. Amen, oh Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. for that love, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the message that you have given Hallelujah. unto us, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the brethren Hallelujah. that you have given unto Amen, us, oh Lord. Oh Lord. We thank Amen, you, Lord, for Jesus. using us, oh God, Amen, then, oh that to be a blessing unto them, oh God. Hallelujah. Bless them also, oh Lord, oh God, to Hallelujah. those, Lord, uh, in the time of, Lord, of trouble. That you can use them, O oh God, Hallelujah. to be a love, a Lord, a blessed, perfect love, O oh God. That you will be projected, Lord, always, Lord, in their life, in our life. Until the day, Lord, that we will be come into the maturity, Lord. Amen, oh For the time that we are waiting, Lord, that hindering us, Lord, to come in that structure, O oh God. Hallelujah. That we have, you are waiting for us, Lord, to be in the perfect love in one, Lord, in one body, in one spirit, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, once again for the message, for that perfect love that you have given unto us. We thank you, Lord, for this today, O oh God. 
for me ministering us, Lord. Giving us, Lord, the blessing, the revelation that only coming unto you, Lord. For unto us, Lord, we cannot do anything, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the brethren that you have ministered unto us, O oh Lord, our brother, Brother Dante. Use him mighty, Lord. Lord, to uh, fed, Lord, the saints, Lord, not only in this place, but in every, uh, Lord, in every places of this world, O oh God. Lord, use him mightily, Lord. And bless, Lord, the uh, saints, Lord, in this time of, Lord, of uh, discouraging, Lord, of the time. Encourage with every individual, O oh God, in every saints, O oh Lord, whatever that situation that they are facing in their lives. Encourage them that there's, Lord, a love, that perfect love, that uh, uh, hugging us and caressing us, oh God, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Nothing, there's no word that we can say for the wonderful love that you have Amen. given unto us, oh God. Amen. Once again, we praise you and bless you, oh God. We thank you for all the things that you have given unto us, oh Lord, this day, the message, the word, Lord, that you have given unto us. Help us and guide us once again until the afternoon of our service that you have given on this day, Lord, that we are going to bless you, Lord, Amen. and praise Amen. you, Lord, and give all the things and glory. This is our prayer once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Our service has ended this morning. May God bless you all. I love this family of God. Love this family of God so closely knitted into one. They've taken me into their heart, and I'm so glad to be a part of this great family. Oh uh -huh.